Good evening. I'm a man, and as such, I enjoy playing men's games, shooting, strategy, and having sex games. I'm normal. There are, however, men out there who enjoy playing children's games. We're not going to speculate tonight as to why that is. We're just going to say that it does go on, and frankly, it makes us want to be sick. It's for that reason that I'll be using my journalism to investigate Lego Star Wars, the complete saga. Please be advised that this review may contain footage of a children's game being played by a man. OK, I can only speculate as to what you're looking at right now because I have my eyes shut. I can tell you via my memory that this game has literally lots and lots of little characters to unlock and play as. Obviously, each character is not entirely unique. Many of them play very similarly. In fact, some of them are the same character masquerading with different garments on. It is important to note that you will be required to switch characters in this game many times. It is, in a way, how you play this game. As you would expect, there's a lot of Smash Jedi combat within the game. Shooting in space, doing puzzles and platforming. All the things that children want to be when they grow up. And all these things are very easily achieved within the game so as to not crush the child's hope of finishing the game. Suspicious? We suspect this may be one of the most effective children's games of all time. How can we come to this conclusion? Ask yourself this. What does a child want most from a video game? Answer. The same thing they want from real life. They want to get bribed. This game goes to great lengths to bribe its players into playing on by throwing as many shiny studs and by extension unlockables at you as possible. No, it's not enough that it's got a pleasant control system or a sense of humour. No, it has to turn you into a stud addict. Let me say this, if you are the type of sickle that likes to blow up things to get your studs, then using a character with a blaster gun is far more effective than a Jedi with a lightsaber. Although, being a Jedi, as always, is sometimes quite cool. When I, when I say cool, what I'm, I mean is I don't... I mean, it's quite a good game. I quite enjoyed playing it. It's quite relaxing and reasonably pleasant. There's quite a lot of variety in it. There's not much in the way of new content if you've played the two games before. There's a few wee race sections and stuff. But aye, it's, it's a good wee game. I am still a man, however. It's, I never was a man. Man, I'm a f Now, when you are out on a date, please remember, do not talk about games. It should go without saying, but, you know, they're not interested in the latest, uh, you know, graphics, uh, sound capabilities, or what level you've reached. Uh, just... Get there, get the business done, get out of there, get a game when you get home. What are you playing? I'm working. Okay. Do you play games? I play games. No for f fun. I mean, it's my job. It's the best job I've ever had. Have you heard of Ryan? No, I've never heard of Ryan. I like your beans. Beads. I like your beads. Thanks. <sighs> Have you played Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines? It's on the PC. It's on one of them. Oh, go oh, no. No. Not again. This is... Oh, hello and welcome to the One Minute Review. Uh, 
This is e Robert's got cold this week. This is EA Playground on the Wii. And it's on the Wii, so it'll be a collection of minigames, will yeah, it? Yeah, but be? not all games on the Wii are a collection 90, of minigames. Ninety-five percent of the games on the Wii are minigames. This is indicative of the problem with Wii games just now. It's a collection of poor minigames. We probably will have to point out that what I said was actually rubbish. It's not. I'd not I'm sorry for that. Is uh, that any good? No, it's not any good. It's you're a wee guy cutting about a playground, making friends with people, and you need to challenge them to. Uh, it's like bully. Mini games. It's like bully. Can I can us can them edit? No, it's not like bully. It's like um, you go about a playground, you challenge people to uh, pretty poor mini games. Excellent. I feel as if, even though I've no played it, well, I've played it before. Do you know what I mean by that? Uh, just additional details before we go. This game is for the Wii. It's for supposedly for kids, and you say play a wee guy, and you cut a boot, we'll, we'll and that. you play we'll say uh, mini games. It's an FPS. All right, fans. Demo here. This week's top seven title is Guitar Hero 3 in all formats. Yo man, I got your shorts on by mistake, man. Give it down, hot arm. Trying to get a shot on these suckers with my tranquilizer gun. These gonna be our new challenges. Nah, man, they too fat. They too fat. You nah. can't use them, man. Nah, man. You out of your hey, damn mama, mind. You, you out of your mind, they too fat, man. That ain't right. That ain't right, hey, man. Hey, man, hold on. That out there is the River Clyde. You know, boys, they used to build a lot of ships out there. And a lot of those ships were built for war. You know, war put food on the tables of generations of Glasgow men. And war, as terrible as it is, is still serving us today. Be given us some totally rocking computer games to play. Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare is all about... Modern warfare, it's, it's, it's totally modern, it's not like uh, soldiers running about in like, bell bottoms and leg warmers, it's modern. All the modern weapons, Bluetooth shotguns, your wireless AK-47s, they're all there. Aye aye, we've spent a lot of the series so far, oh god, still 12 episodes to go, moaning about first person shooters, but sometimes lest we forget, a first person shooter is this good. Single player mode puts you into the boots of a few different guys, and you cut about the modern battlefield with your pals. Sometimes you play as an American, so his pals are all assholes naturally, but most of the time you play as Soap McTavish of the SAS, and his pals are all guys who used to be in the Bill and EastEnders. And believe me, <laughs> this is about the closest any gamer's been to Soap since their mammy used to force them into the bath on a Sunday night before Tales of the Unexpected. <laughs> Bit of nostalgia there. I'm like, Peter Kea, a dick. Ah, uh, nah, what is hell? What about war games are totally rocking, you know I mean, particularly when all the set pieces are so perfectly placed, perfectly paced and perfectly spaced for maximum thrills. I mean, this is, this is the kind of game that if you're playing it with somebody else in the room, you're constantly turning and going, do you see that bit, do you see what happened there, do you see me there? And they're, they're looking at you going, it's not really, not really working out between us, is it Robert? Pack your bags. It's a beautiful looking game. There's dirt and muck flying everywhere, tracer fire lighting up the sky, shafts of light bursting through every crack and every wall. This game's like church. And it sounds unbelievable. Constant char, constant horror battering your eardrums. The single player is on the short side, but Video Guiding loves short games. And there's no filler here. Oh, killer, no filler, as they say. You're thrown in, dragged through, and shot out the other end, blinking in the light, dripping with sweat, naked, aroused. I simply cannot recommend it enough. If only there was a multiplayer mode, this game would be a contender for Game of the Year. Well, it has a multiplayer mode, Tricky! But if only it had the best multiplayer mode of the year, Tricky again! No sense of days of Counter Strike has a multiplayer mode been so complete, so damn near faultless in its execution. Our forefathers fought in trenches. Battled across foreign fields, endured horror so that we could be free. But 
But that was the past, man. This is modern warfare, baby. Fat tubes like yourselves, lying on couches, shooting diddy washers for France in a wee computer game. Ah, how far we've come. Oh, what is this I'm hearing about you sexually harassing people on the BBC? I just spoke to him. Yeah, we're going to lose our show. I you that beautiful last year, that beautiful virginal demon you've got. You've spoiled that for everybody. Sorry. Oh, you make me see you one of these lady files I keep hearing about. I'm not working with you in this episode ever again. You've been deranked. Get off my chair, you sick. Hey, good meeting. See you next week! <laughs> That's not my thing. <laughs> Cut!